welcome back guys. Today we're going to be doing some bench press as you can see um, from the enormous dumbbells that I like to sling around. Um, but all kidding aside, we're going to do something that's uh, a really great way to develop strength that we haven't really done. But um, again, we go back to the, the counseling we had from Chad Ikes and he recommended when you kind of hit a, a, a point where you've hit a plateau with your bench press, um, there are a few things that you can do to get past that and it's all about training your central nervous system. So one of the things is board presses and we haven't incorporated that yet into our program but those will be coming. But the other thing is negatives. These are pretty easy to do. All you need is a spotter and what we're going to do is we're going to do five sets of three reps and we're going to do this bench press at 115% of your one rep max. Now if you've never done negatives you're thinking how could I possibly do 115% of my one rep max? Well the beauty of it is is again, we're training your central nervous system. So as you can see here, what we're gonna do is you're going to, with a spotter, unrack the weight. So let's say 100 pounds is your one rep max. You're gonna lower it as slowly as you can, controlling that weight, and when you get to the bottom, the spotter is going to help you lift that weight back up. So you're gonna do sets of three like that. This is gonna get you used to having that heavy weight in your hands, and it's gonna help you develop uh, strength in the bench press. So. So that's gonna be our strength work today. And then for our workout, uh, our wad today, it's gonna to be five rounds, and we're going to do 10 deadlifts at body weight, and then we're going to do 15 double unders, and then we are going to do 20 ab mat sit-ups. So that's five rounds. Uh, it's gonna be a pretty quick one, not too bad, but it should be an interesting day because we're gonna do this, you know, the, the negative bench press. And, uh, and the other thing I'd like to throw out today, because we're doing these double unders, and I see a lot of postural issues with the double under. I see a lot of people bent forward and they're thinking about getting that rope around and they're not focusing on a good upright posture, nice relaxed shoulders and quick hands. So for our warm up today, we're gonna do air double unders. This has worked out pretty well when I've had people that are struggling with posture. So I'm gonna have you do rounds of air double unders in the warm up. And basically what it's gonna be is just like regular double unders, except you're not gonna have a rope in your hands. You're just gonna be jumping, spinning your hands, pretending you're doing the, uh, the double unders, but without the irritation of having to focus on that rope. And so hopefully what we can do is develop that motor pattern so that you're used to staying upright, you've got a nice quick jump, you're staying light on your feet, and then when you put that rope in your hands, you won't have to think about the jump and you can just spin that rope nice and fast. So, should be a good time. I'll see you at the gym. Oh, hey, hey, uh, dude, I'm not doing anything to scale. It's cool. It's cool.